Hi, this is Captain Chaudhary once again. Today I'm going to speak about the harmonic method of tidal calculations. As far as exams is concerned, sometimes you might be asked to find out the height of tide at a certain times. So you wonder whether to find out the height of tide by curve method or the harmonic constant method. Well, there are some restrictions. If you see, I'm talking about tide tables 1992. So sometimes if you see in uh, volume 1, in part 2, you are directed to find out intermediate height of tide by harmonic constant method. And sometimes in volume 2 and 3, when you are using the curve, you find that the duration of tide is either less than 5 hours or more than 7 hours, in which case you cannot use the tidal curves for finding out intermediate height. At some other times, you might find that there are large quarter diagonal, one sixth diagonal or uh, what I must say shallow water corrections in the port in which case you may be uh, required to find out the height of tide by harmonic constant method. Let us say uh, we are finding out the height of tide now by harmonic constant method and uh, you are given the port as Sunday Island. You are supposed to find out the height of tide on 14th of April at 8 o'clock local time. Now when I am dealing with the harmonic constant method, there is nothing like standard port or second report. In harmonic constant method from the index that uh, you have at the end, that is the alphabetic index, all you do is find out what is the port number of the port, the tidal port number. From the tidal port number we come to part 3 of the volume. The number of Sunday Islands is 6275A. Now to do the calculations, I must pick up data from the various sections of the tide tables. To do the calculations by harmonic constant method, I must first make the table prop. First the infrastructure must be correct. So I will write them as follows. A, G, P, T upon 24, theta, H, F, T, H, Ft sin theta h Ft cos theta I have drawn four columns M2 S2 K1 O1 M2 S2 K1 O1 are the partial tides uh, as you know, I am going to do the tidal calculations by harmonic constant methods. There are many harmonic factors which affect the tide. For example, we know uh, a few of them. For example, gravitational pull of moon, sun. Then there are semi-diagonal component, diagonal component. The component because of the eccentricity, the effect caused by the declination, effect caused by the equinoxes. There are several number of constituents. We are going to consider four major components, four major partial tides. M2 and S2 are like a semi diagonal major component of gravitational pull of Moon and Sun. Uh, we don't go into that detail. Uh, we will just uh, understand that all these constituents, they are kind of uh, uh, simple harmonic in nature. So they might have a different behavior. And what we do is we algebraically add these constraints. So for example, if I want to find out height of tide, so this particular component and this component add on the positive side, whereas these two components, they are on the negative side and the net resultant height of tide at this instant might be over here. We are not going to draw the curves, but we are going to mathematically or trigonometrically and algebraically add all of them. <coughs> so to start with, the infrastructure has to be correct. A is the tidal angle, G is the phase lag, PT upon 24. P upon 24 is the rate for M2, S2, K1, O1. I have written down the rate as 29 degrees per hour, 30 degrees, 15 degrees and 13.9. Capital T is the local time rounded off. Theta is A plus G minus PT upon 24. Theta, if you get between 360 and 720, you can subtract 360. And theta, if you get negative, you can add 360. H is the amplitude. Ft is the factor for the time, local time, whatever we are looking for. 
say we are finding out the height of tire at 0, 8, 0, 0. So Ft will be the factor for 8 o'clock. Hft sin theta. Hft cos theta. Hft sin theta will be written for the first two columns. We don't write anything here. And Hft cos theta is written for all the four columns. We need to traverse into different parts of the type tables. So let me tell you uh, where all we should go and from where all we should pick up the data so that we are able to finish the calculation within scheduled time. Right? So when we say go to part 3, we should pick up whatever is to be picked up from part 3. Right? And then uh, we go to table 7, we pick up certain details from there. Then there is this solved example given there. At the beginning of type tables from there, we pick up some uh, values. So let me introduce you to the different parts of type tables which are required for simple harmonic type calculation. If we go to part 3, in part 3, you will find this number 6275A for Sunday Islands, right? Sunday Island. Then we have mean level Z0 as 3.39, M2, S2, K1, and O1 are four partial types for which G and H, G in degrees and H in meters are given. H is amplitude and G is the phase lag compared to the Greenwich Meridian. So, G and H for M2 are 343 degrees 2.17 meters for S2 it is 058 degrees 0 0.97 320 degrees 0 0.32 meters and 278 degrees 0.20 right and when uh, uh, we see the right hand side of the page you will find the quarter diagonal and one sixth diagonal constituents written as F4 capital F4 F6 and capital F6. Small f4 is 105, capital F4 is 0 0.025. F6 325 and capital F6 is 0 0.005. Then if you see the solved example, there are some 40 lines, the 40 items they are written in the uh, table. I would uh, want you to look at line 36 and line 39. Line 36 gives you two formulae. D4, small d4 is 2R plus F4, capital D4 is R square capital F4. Line 39 gives the formula for D6, D6. Small d6 is 3R plus F6 and capital D6 is R cube F6. Then uh, we have solved example on the right hand side page bottom you will find these values p by 24 right for the four constituents they are 29 degrees 30 degrees 15 degrees and 13.9 respectively then you also have to look at table 7 table 7 gives you tidal angle and factors tidal angle for the date 14th we have to pick up so we'll be writing for tidal angle that is a0 or A will be writing the values 239 degrees, 0, 013 degrees, 319 degrees, 306 degrees in the four columns, right? And then we have factors. Say for example, if you consider M2, the factor for 14th 0, 0, 100 hours is 1.1, 15th 0, 0, 100 hours is 1.5. We need to find out the factor for 0, 8, 0, 0 local time. So we need to interpolate between these two. So tidal angle, once again, we'll be uh, picking up the tidal angle for the date 14th, whereas factor will be interpolating and finding out the factor for 0, 8, 0, 0. These factor values are given for 0, 0, 100 hours. We have picked up the data from different parts. We have picked up the data from the uh, sample example. We have picked up the data from part 3. We have picked up the data from table 7. Now we start off.